do is we have to build strength to prepare for standing and ambulating on land. And so strength equals resistance. So what we're doing is we are slowly adding resistance in many different forms. So, and rest Ben. So what we're doing is we're taking, we're doing a few things with this. So Ben's hands have a tendency to close in flexion. And so we're holding Ben's fingers in extension and then we're having him hold them in extension against resistance. And so just the device itself will give Ben the sense of he's got to stretch his fingers off of that. Now it will, when he goes out, it's going to strengthen extension in his hand. And when he comes in, it's going to, it's going to strengthen the grip because what will happen is the device here will be something that he can now tangibly feel as a sensory input and work against. Okay, so just do circles like this, just play with those for a minute. Okay, now because he has more surface area, so I'm just gonna grab this, he has more surface area than the hand, what will happen is now the whole elbow, shoulder mechanism, everything is having more of a resistance challenge. So basically to be able to transfer somebody to water, from water to land, we have to take the, the, uh, the movement patterns and we have to add resistance. And so we can add resistance by taking the person into shallow water. We can add resistance by having the person do things on the ground. We can add resistance by using devices against the water. Okay? So build, basically we're building more strength. So it's kind of, kind of fun, right? Okay, now watch this. Come towards me. Okay, get ball number one back. Ball number one back. Now, what's gonna happen is you're gonna have to figure out more directive because what's been happening is your wrist has been bend, bend, bending and you've been using mostly shoulder and elbow, right? This already came up. Oh, okay, so. So, what you have to do is you have to think of what angle you have to put these little flippers on, right? Okay, in other words, when you're coming here, you've got to get this up like this, right? And then down, right? So so where does ball number two have to be to do that, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start from the beginning and we're gonna train with these. All right. So bend, bendy bend. Bend. <laughs> okay, bend. Okay, now I want you to keep your scuba forward the whole time. No rotation of your head. Okay, because you won't be doing that when you're walking. Mm -hmm. All right, now what I want you to do is just experiment. I'm just going to hold you here and I okay. want you to stay three on T. Three on T. Ball one, two, three. Ball one, two, three. Three on T. 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 All right, now very slowly, so you're going to lessen the resistance to learn the technique. Okay. Slowly bring the arms straight down below ball number one. Okay, here. Slowly forward. Slowly forward. Good. Slowly back. Slowly back. Wonderful. Slowly forward. Slowly forward. And slowly back. Slowly back. Okay, so notice that the right, the neck is a shoulder. Next shoulder. Yeah. The shoulder's the back. The shoulder's the back. The shoulder's the elbow. The shoulder's the elbow. The elbow's the hand. The elbow's the hand. That's why. So now three on T. Three on T. Okay, you got your three on T. Three on T. Right? So find yourself down. Right now, just come down slowly. Slowly. And up. And up. Now, what we're doing with your shoulder blade yesterday was to prepare you to use these. Keep your shoulder blade down. Shoulder blade. Right? And tip. Right? So look, if this is, this is almost exactly what a shoulder blade looks like, right? Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to tip the bottom of the shoulder blade like that. Okay? Ready? So tip and tip. come down. Come down. Good. Tip and come up. Tip and come up. Now drive the shoulder blade in this position, then down on the back. Okay. Tip. Tip. Good. And then back. And then back. Wonderful. Tip. Tip. Back. Right and back. Go back. Good. 
Now one behind two. One behind two. Beautiful. Keep coming down. Keep coming down. And back. Back. All right, good. Now when you come down, tilt, pick your knees up. One behind two. One behind two. And then back. And back. What it'll do is bring your arms down effortlessly. So yeah. watch, you ready? Go. Shoulder ball down. Shoulder ball down. Good, shoulder ball release. Shoulder ball release. Good, shoulder ball down. Shoulder ball down. Shoulder ball. Shoulder ball. Shoulder ball. And shoulder balls come away. So it's like you're going around the cylinder of one, two, three, right? Mm -hmm. Shoulder balls come forward. Shoulder balls come forward. Beautiful. Shoulder balls come away. So there's the right? Shoulder balls come away. Shoulder balls come forward. Shoulder balls come forward. Shoulder balls come away. Shoulder balls come away. All right, now bring them, bring them up like this. All right, now keep them in this position. Okay. And what I want you to do is do small circles like this. So you got to keep the top up. So don't let the top come down. And now as you're doing that. There you go. Keep the top up. Keep the top up. Keep the top up. Good. All right, now watch. If you keep the top up, and then when you hit the water, press the top down. Then keep the top up and press the top down. Ready? One. One. Two. Two. One. Good. Two. So use it, so use transference and feel feel what that paddle's doing because that's the same thing your shoulder blade is doing. Heel, fingertips. Heel. Are you mathematically in it with me? Okay. That's the same thing the foot does, isn't it? Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do, you know the sensation. Uh, sensation. So I want you to drop in that before I have to call it for you, okay? As soon as you feel like there's sensory there's sensory chaos going on, just go right to it. Doesn't matter what I'm calling, just go, you know the sensation. Mm -hmm. Okay? Alright, now look. What you're gonna do is you're gonna transfer. Here's where transfer is really cool. So if this is your foot, yeah, right? You have the heel strike mm -hmm. and the toe off. Yeah. And then the heel strike and then the toe off, because it's hardwired. Right? But now, because this is a visual, it's easier to see, isn't it? Right? So that's where it's really cool if you're going to train somebody, right? You've got to get them to be able to see it so they can say it, so they can do it. So say heel, 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 heel. It's why it's called the heel of your hand. Heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. So I can transfer heel, toe. Heel toe. Heel toe. Heel toe. Heel toe. Brilliant. Heel toe. Heel toe. Okay, now look. There's also transference to your shoulder blade. This is what your shoulder blade is doing. Drive and pull. Drive on your back and pull. Drive and pull. Keep going. Drive and pull. Good. Drive and pull. Drive and pull. Do it from the shoulder blade. Drive and pull. Drive and pull. Drive and pull. Drive and pull, there it is. Drive and pull, 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 drive and pull. Opposite knee, opposite knee, opposite knee, opposite knee, opposite knee, opposite knee. You know the sensation. Now, connect the feet. 
Turbulent. Feel where the water passes. Okay, the water is passing by the top of the arm. Mm -hmm. Now by the underarm. Mm -hmm. Right now, do that with your legs. Okay, underarm. Underarm. Down. Down. Outside of the leg. Outside of the leg. Water passes by the outside water of the leg. Passes by the outside of the leg. Turbulence in. Turbulence. Really good. What's happening is this is like take home neurostimulation, right? And what I'm using is I'm using the sensory nervous system to give you input that's concrete. Input that the body can pay attention to mm -hmm. and input that you can transfer neuroplastically, right? Does that feel too tight? Okay. Now, what I want you to do is start really small in front like this and just keep the paddles up. Right? Keep them really close. So mirror me. That's it. Try to keep the tips of the paddles up. But we're also giving more sensory feedback because now you can handle those paddles and you can control what's happening so that you can control the feedback and increase the resistance at the same time. All right, now no hands. No hands. Think that you have paddles on your feet. Paddles Mental on your feet. Good. Mentally rehearse the paddles on the feet. Mentally rehearse the paddles on your feet. Good. Get that knee front. Get the knee front. Middle toe. Fall towards Lauren. Come all the way up over it. 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 There, come fall. Come on. All the way up. All the way up. Stand and fall. Stand and fall. All the way up. Squat and push. All the way up. All the way up. You know the sensation. You know the sensation. Squat and push. Squat and push. Okay, no arms. No arms. No arms. No arms. Oh, actually, no arms. <laughs> You're a little slippery over here.